hey makers this is thruveen and in this video i am going to talk about how we can create truly responsive power apps like this i am going to explain step by step process for implementing this so stay tuned till end but before that if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far please do follow me so without further delay let's get started here i am on my machine and here i have opened one power apps this is the thing which we are going to achieve as an end outcome so first of all let me show you the overall sharepoint list structure which i have i have one leaves list along with this columns now i wanted to display all of this columns onto my grid for that i will go to my power apps and first i will create one blank screen for that i am clicking on new screen and i am taking this responsive container section header main section and footer let's say for an example if you are watching this video and you are not able to this screen template basically what is it it is basically a responsive container because we wanted to create the responsive grid and over here you can see that there is one vertical container inside that one horizontal container inside that one more vertical container and one more horizontal container so it basically consist of three inside container and one main container first let's add our header and footer and after that we will add our gallery control to add the header select the container click on insert and add a label so that will add this label over here let's change the text as my leaves and now i just need to change height and width of this label so what i will do here is i'm just going i will select width property and i will provide here as parent dot width remember one thing whenever you are working with responsive you need to provide all your height width with respect to your parent and over here let's provide height property as parent dot height okay so it looks good let's provide it to center let's change the font size as 18 and let's make the font weight as bold also let's provide a color let me just add so basically i will provide the color to my container instead of label so i'm selecting my container and over here i am going to color section and i will provide this type of color at this moment now let me change the color of my label font so i'm selecting that and from here i need to select white color that's it so it's done now over here i need to add the responsive gallery for that we will add one gallery control so go to the gallery control and let's select blank vertical gallery so let's add that so it has added this gallery control over here on my screen now we need to provide the data source let's provide it and after that what we need to do here is we need to add the rep count so over here this is my gallery control and let's add my rep count as 4 so basically we wanted to create four different block over here so it is showing me like this okay now let me just add couple of data over here for that i am selecting my gallery control and let's add some of the labels over here so i started adding some of the label okay so i added this many of label and it shows me like this okay it's good now as a next step what i want to do here is i just need to provide some background color to my container so let me just provide some background color like light gray so it is looking like this now as a next part i need to arrange this different property still it's not looking exciting and eye catching so basically now i just need to make some cosmetic changes here okay so what i'm doing here is i'm selecting all my label by pressing the shift key and now i will 
provide the width as parent dot template width because its width would be parent dot I selected I am typing parent dot template width perfect so it is looking like this and I need to provide X position as zero so let's do it all right so they are arranged now I just need to make it proper so I'm just arranging them properly here so what I'm doing here is let's select everything first and let's provide border so we can you know arrange it properly that's a trick so over here there is a border property let's select border as one so you need to arrange the everything like this okay so now the card looks nice better than earlier now well, let's change couple of formatting options so let me just make its font as bold so here I'm selecting bold let me select another things and let me make some of the font as semi bold so let me select semi bold from here okay so looks nice now as a next part what I need here is I need like let's say uh, my start date is this for my leave and what would be my end date I just wanted to combine this two field so basically what I will do here is whatever the text here is this item dot end date I'm copying this formula and I'm appending over here so I'm going here and let me just use and person double inverted comma comma and person and let me just paste this same thing over here so it will looking nice so I don't need this additional one so you can just arrange it properly now this approve and reject so let's just have status and who has created the leave request okay so it looks nice but let me just select everything together and let me just make it center aligned so it will give more effective okay all right perfect now what i want to do here is i want to make some good border here along with that i wanted to send the template height of gallery as well because you can see this card is looking like this this is template and height is so far big so when you click on your gallery and when you click on your template size you will be able to see this code instead of this let's change to 210 and it will look nice right perfect now i just wanted to provide some good looking border to my template so what i will do here is i'm going here i'm adding one shape here so what i will do here is i will add one rectangle okay so this rectangle has been added outside so let me cut that so i'm just cutting that rectangle from here cut i'm selecting anything from gallery and paste it over here okay and now let's just make its border as 2 and let's select border style as dash and let's just make the border color somewhat like this and let's make the fill as none so it will look like this now let's arrange it so over here let's add your rectangle now over here width will be parent dot template width parent dot template width and height will be parent dot template height and height is parent dot template height so looks nice now let's remove this unwanted border from here but before that we need to select the rectangle and reorder it as send to back okay so it is just moving its position now let's select all the labels from here and let's remove its border so let's make its border as zero so it will look more cleaner and looking nice like this okay perfect now let's provide some padding so i'm selecting this gallery and let's provide template padding as 25 so looks nice now let's make it more cleaner let's say if your leave is approved i want to make it as green border else it will be red so for that what i will do is i will select my rectangle 
and I will just select a property border color. Instead of this, we will change the code. I am adding condition if this item does status dot value is equal to approve then color dot green else color dot red. And we all set. It looks nice. Let me copy the same formula from here. And what I will do is I will add the similar color in the status. So I will pick up this. I will go to the color condition and instead of this, let's paste this one. And same way, I wanted to make this header as well with the font color formatting. It looks really nice now, more cleaner. Okay, so color thing is something you can do as per your requirement. Now, there is one more thing you can do. Like, let's say this is my casual leave. So, I have taken the leave from 16th of May to 17th of May. It was two days leave. So, you can add the formula as well that how long they are on leave. So, we can customize this thing as well. So, what I will do here is I'm selecting this and let's select the text property so over here we need to add one more formula so let's say here i'm just adding that date difference this item dot start date minus this item dot end date plus one so this is the formula and this is something which will give us like now we are two days leave or one day leave okay and to make it better we can do one more thing now we need to think as an end user perspective. Now you can see we already have this green color which is showing that you know it's approved. So what we can do is we can remove this as well because we don't need we don't need unnecessary space in our grid. Instead of that we can just arrange it properly and shrink my card a bit. So at this moment we have 210 instead of that let's just make it around 190 and even like still there is space so let's make it 180 and it is looking more cleaner okay so these are the different uh, ux thing you can do for your app now uh, let's add the footer as well so for footer as well what i will do i will add one more label over here similar way we will set the width and height so width is parent dot width and height will be parent dot height looking nice let me add some text here. So I'm adding copyright reserved and let me make it center along with that. Let me make it semi bold. And now let me just add the background color of the footer. So I'm selecting the footer container. So let me change my footer color like this. I'm just changing this color. I know I didn't choose the great color, but according to your requirement, you can choose the appropriate color. Okay. All right. Now uh, let's play and let's see how it looks. So it looks amazing. Not bad. I didn't do 100% based, but I'm just giving you idea this kind of beautiful thing you can do. Now over here, there is a homework for you. If you are creating this kind of beautiful grid, just show your creativity to me by tagging me power apps with Druvin hashtag and tag my LinkedIn account as well as Instagram account or Twitter account. I will happy to see your talent with respect to UI UX of gallery. Now the another most important task here is to make it responsive. For that we need to go to the setting here and we need to go to the display and over here we just need to turn off scale to fit. So it's turned off. That's great. Now uh, I need to check here uh, and it is showing me this window icon which means that you already turned off scale to fit okay now as a next part we need to decide like which screen size you are watching and according to that you just need to shrink up your card for that tasting purpose I will just add one label control here and I'm just printing what is the screen size so what I'm going here is I'm just typing here screen one dot size so you can see screen size is 4 at this moment. So what do we mean by it? So let's say for an example, if you go to your app 
and if you just check your breakpoint size breakpoint you can see 600 is 1 900 is 2 1200 is 3 and above that all are 4 so my pc is 1366 resolution so it is more than 1200 so it is showing me 4 but if we go here and if we play around let me just make my browser responsive so you can see it is showing me 2 now it is showing me 1 it is 2 now it is 3 and it is 4 now okay so what we need to do is according to that we just need to shrink up our card okay so what we, we can do here is we can select this gallery control we can just go to the wrap count property this will be dynamic so let's add some line of code here let's make switch operation here so in switch i need to first pass as screen dot size screen one dot size now let's say if i'm opening into mobile screen my screen size is one then i wanted to have wrap count as one okay if i have 900 resolution i need two cards so i'm select pressing two if it is 3 1200 resolution i need three cards it is more than 1200 what i want to do is i want to set the default value that i need four cards okay so i'm setting this up and it is looking like this okay now let's test so what i'm going here is i'm just shrinking my browser again and let's see still it's four so it is showing me four let's see it's three so you can see it responsive and it is showing three cards in one screen okay now let's go to 900 let's see see now it is showing me two cards it looks more cleaner it's truly responsive you can see right and now let me just shrink one more for mobile and let's see see this looks amazing okay and also you can check it like this you can right click go to inspect and just click on the mobile device and you can see the mobile device is looking more cleaner now okay so this is how you can create the beautiful truly responsive grid for your power apps isn't it cool hope this video helps you and values your time guys if you really love my video please hit thumbs up and please add some comment that if you like this video or not just share your opinion with me that yes i like this video create this kind of video again in the future and all so please do commenting that will motivate me to create this kind of content more and more for you and if you have created some beautiful and good looking grids as i told you just tag my twitter account or my instagram account and you know just share your grid with me and you know i'm happy to see what you have implemented from your grids okay so please do that also uh, let me share you one more trick with you with respect to this app so let's say if i play this app at this moment you can't see any thing like you know where my cursor is so you can add one more property called transition property so for that you can select your gallery you can go to the transition property and from here you can just select transition dot two properties are available push and pop so just try like let me just add push property and let me just go here and you can see now i have this kind of beautiful effect as well on my gallery so isn't that cool all right so i'm not going to take more time here and i'm about to close this video but please hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and share it with your friends if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for consultation this is the website let's work together and these are all my social media handles along with my another youtube channel so subscribe that and show your love here as well with this, this is Dhruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.